So how do we make our dreams a reality? We all have dreams and we all want to manifest things. And we all have different ways and approaches that have worked. Um, and there's no way that I'm going to you know, touch on all of that. But I can give a few little key pointers of things um, that have made a difference for me. Uh, I was just walking along the creek and I saw this dandelion, and I love dandelions, but it reminded me of that simple, gentle process as a child that, that I still do, <laughs> of how we blow on a dandelion, right? And we release our wishes out into the cosmos. And that release in that breath is, is like a surrender right? We don't, we don't stay attached and trying to manipulate and control what's going to happen after that. It's just this pure trust and belief, regardless of the outcome of what's going to happen. And that's a lot of what I find important as well when I have something that I want to manifest is not having an unhealthy attachment or try, trying to manipulate it and control it every step of the way. It's just you know, I put it out there and then I start living and breathing as if those things have already happened or that thing has already happened. Um, I take actions. Action is so important. I feel that's like top of the list is to really take steps to show and demonstrate that you have that trust in the thing you want to create. Um, so taking those courageous forward movements are important and that can be something small or it can be something large and usually the small lead into something large. So um, action. Uh, then there's a lot of things on the sidelines that we can do, whether it's energetic work and putting, you know, whether it's Reiki or whatever towards the thing you want to manifest or People like to do vision boards. Some people are really good with visualization, and so you really visualize and feel and sense, like with all of your senses, how it would be if you had that thing that you're trying to manifest. And you live it, not just in your visualization, but then with the rest of your life thereafter. And you just keep acting, like I said, as if those things have happened. That's taking your visualization to the actualization sort of place. Um, and so then it's not just a mental activity, but it becomes a physical one as well. And, and, and you're also bringing your emotions in because it's like, how would you feel about that? And then each day, if you are taking actions towards it, you are actually going to feel like you have it or more joyful because you're getting closer to it right so you start aligning all parts of yourself and that's another thing is alignment you want to align your essence with the thing that you're trying to manifest and that is by physically mentally emotionally spiritually being as if you have those things um, so I do a lot of that and another thing is divorcing myself from other people's ideas, beliefs, um, not entertaining conversations that would negate you know, what I'm trying to create or what I believe. I, um, you know, at times I'll even separate myself from people if, if they're not of the resonance that you know, would support the types of things that I'm trying to do or the new life I'm creating and, and things like that. You know, if something's that important to me and my essence and, and passion is behind it, then I'm going to take all the steps needed in order to make that happen. And sometimes those are small steps and sometimes they're dramatic steps. Um, but I have learned that I have to create boundaries a lot. And you know, there's some people find the power in positive affirmations, um, but really it's, it's a lot about 
the core essence of you and where your beliefs are and how you're feeling about the thing that you're wanting to manifest. Because if those don't align, it doesn't matter how much you tell yourself mentally, it's not going to happen. So like I said, getting all your senses on board together is really going to help um, your cause towards, towards the dreams. But you also just want to believe. You want to find that place in yourself, like the child within that you all and we all have been, that just believes beyond. And you, you trust that the thing you're trying to create is going to come to be, but you're also open. You're open to how that is meant to be because sometimes it's not exactly how you think it should be, but it will be for your highest good. <clears throat> and so that's another thing that, like, I'll state if I am, say, doing a, an official sort of process that it like this thing I'm manifesting to be for the highest good of all concerned. Um, and. I don't limit myself, so I'll say, you know, this or something better manifests for me in totally satisfying and harmonious ways for the highest good of all concerned. So there's, there's that, again, you know, sort of release and surrender to not controlling it and trusting in the best outcome to happen when you do that. And you just really got to stay focused and not give up and if you really want something you can't have one foot in one land and one foot in the other if you want something to happen you have to go with all of yourself so sometimes like I said that means leaving things behind and you know showing the universe that you really are serious about what you're saying and so Maybe that is quitting a job or putting in a resignation or, you know, giving yourself a window and, and you know, having a four-month um, time period uh, for your resignation so that it gives you time to work on things in the interim or, or whatever, whatever feels comfortable for you. Some people can jump all the way and some people have to take, you know, slower little steps and none are, none are better than the other. but make those promises and carry through with them in terms of supporting the dream that you want. You know, I'm living right now my dream and yes, our dreams evolve. So it's not like I just have one dream and then that's it and I'm done. Um, but currently, you know, I'm living uh, in an RV and that was my dream um, that I had. I'm doing it and we're traveling around North America and it came to be and I had no idea how but I knew with all of me that it was going to happen and I know people didn't believe it and I know I kept saying things and looked like the you know the little girl that cried wolf but um, it happened and I'm happier than ever so I know that these things work and that's not the only thing that I've manifested but that was a pretty big one just recently that I have and you know now I, I evolve and I have other dreams and so I have some short-term dreams and I have long-term dreams and I'm, I'm trying to manifest um, the place that will live and what that will feel and look like and I, and I have visions of what I'll be doing and, and I'm currently having dreams of the creative projects that I'm working on and what do I do? I just throw myself into them and I live as if those things already are happening. And as I change, I may change my dream as well. And I start um, shifting what it looks and feels like because I don't stay fixated as you know on any one thing or way that it has to be because I know that I'm a you know a transformative being and to just stay with one thing and say that that's it and that's the be all with all you know that that's just not that's not me and probably not most of us um, but with each of these dreams what they do is I just believe with all of me and um, put my heart and soul into it and don't listen to anything and I do take 
drastic actions, but not everybody can, so you can take smaller actions as well. And I live and breathe it as much as possible, and I don't take no for answers. I believe anything's possible. I, if I hear negative thoughts from others or um, people trying to analyze or say, you know, that I have to look at this, that, or the other thing, that's all fine and dandy, and some of it, you know, I take with a grain of salt and others, you know, might be important for me to look at, which might reflect a fear that I'm having that I need to work on and address because that's the way I'm going to transmute it so that it's no longer there or hindering my fear. So there's there's just individual processes that we need to incorporate and find the, the, the things that work for us the most. Um, but I can say that of all the things that I've done, and I've done them all, I've done, well, not all, but <laughs> I've done a lot, because I don't know that <laughs> you can do everything, but um, the most potent thing that has helped me to manifest my dreams is to believe in myself, um, to trust what I feel, and to take actions and live as if I already have those things. Those have been my power tools. And, you know, the more and more you know yourself, the more and more you align with your essence, the more and more you're going to align with um, being able to manifest the dreams that you want because they will match your vibration rather than being a mismatch. So that alignment is really key as well. Um, that doesn't mean you can't manifest things, but that's sometimes why we get disappointed or we're not as happy as we thought we were when we have it because we were out of alignment with ourselves and what really was the essence of what, what we wanted. Um, and, uh, like I said, you just, you have to like go in with your wholeness. You can't have part of you in one land and part in the other. And ask yourself how much, how important is it that you have this dream? I mean, that that's where you, you get your answers. Because if you aren't willing to do certain things for it, it might not be that important. So maybe you need to review what what that dream is, or or maybe that's when you need to review how aligned you are with yourself. But if something's really that important, you find a way. If you want another job and you have a job, you know maybe for a short time period you stay up late nights, um, doing all you can to create a new business or whatever it is you need to get out of your job or you know, there are ways you can't say that there isn't a way to do something don't limit yourself don't play victim um, you are not a victim of circumstances uh, your circumstances can be powerful tools to help you uh, so don't get in those downward spirals spirals don't don't judge yourself and be belittle yourself if you aren't manifesting something right away either because you know sometimes it's just a timing thing and there's patience involved with that as well so like those little children who blow their dandelions they just blow they blow and release they believe and they trust and then what do they do afterwards they continue to play so you enjoy your life and you live as fully as you can um, doing as much as you can to make yourself happy and staying balanced and um, aligning with that dream and and things start to happen and you will be guided um, to the next steps but be open um, to what's around you and the signs and like I said just make it playful and be gentle about it and joyful about it and just put out your wishes and let them let them come let them come but 
take the steps towards them at the same time. This is a partnership. It's not a one-way street. Uh, we don't just have things happen to us and we aren't just the ones doing it, but it's a, an equal partnership of your consciousness meeting with all that is and the consciousness of everything coming together in a beautiful, harmonious dance and aligning you with, with those dreams. You are a creative being. Exercise it. You have creative power. Don't limit and dream as big as you can because anything's possible. And there are, are many ways, like I said, to get there. But one of them is <laughs> just blowing out your wishes, <laughs> trusting that it's going to come, <laughs> surrendering, <laughs> and taking action. So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, I know I'm not saying anything new. There's no new information out there, but sometimes when it comes to you at a certain time, it can be exactly what you need. So here's to your dreams, and I'm sending lots of love, and as always, may all possibilities be open to you, because they are. See you soon.